Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of Wrestling in Mom's Basement. This is the week of March 12th. I, of course, am Patrick Young. This guy to my right is the King of Royce, Giovanito. Right. Roy. Right. Roy. Right. Roy. Right. Roy. Right. Roy. Right. Yeah. 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 Roy. Yeah. 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 He, he said that a lot <laughs> with our friends in high school. Right. I mean, <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I did. Not a lot. You know, I did. I don't do as much anymore. No, 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 not as much anymore. Nah. But he, I think he still should be classified as the king of voids. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Should we continue? Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh. Got your fluster after that one, huh? I kind of did all the time. I know, I have that effect on other men. Yes. <laughs> you said it, <laughs> Yes. I was, going, I, was going, I was going for the any comedic... Single, any single guys... Gayness. You what? know, any single guys you yes. can't find catch like this anywhere else. Exactly. But he's all mine. <laughs> Should we continue? Yes. <laughs> Because this took a tangent, I don't think it ever needed to go to. <laughs> Moving on, Kurt Angle talk, so about Monday Night Raw. This is the one that I roll room. If you didn't get that out, that would be. Yeah. <laughs> or, you know, our the title of our video down there. Which may or may not have a title. It probably has a title. Right. Angle hypes the Mania match against Mr. and Mrs. Stuffy McMahon. He also hypes Lesnar vs. Reigns. It says Mr. and Mrs. Stuffy McMahon. This ring was a poor roll on Mania. Uh, also, Again, thanks for, to 411 yeah. Media for our weekly reviews. He also hypes Lesnar vs. Reigns, but Brock won't be there tonight. This brings up Reigns, who's a surprise that Brock isn't here. He runs down Brock for his lack of respect. Reigns wants to know what his ramifications will be, and that says that Brock is Vince's boy. Reigns then says the problem is Vince, the same man who didn't tell him what the deal was. He busts his ace for Reigns, and his company refuses to be disrespected by Vince. Reigns has to grow up as a show on his answers. Vince wants to talk in his office and make a commercial. Uh, we see Reigns leaving Vince's office. Uh, no confidence. Vince says Brock is no man that mean to disrespect Reigns. But he said know his role and shut his mouth. Vince also said Brock has certain privileges. But Brock will be on roll this Monday and will compete immediately. And Vince is also temporarily suspended Reigns. Temporarily, I'm guessing, means... The 23 days currently from how we're filming on, on Friday after all this. Uh, on Friday, it's a mania, so suspended for 23 days, or actually, I'll probably end up being like 20, no, or end up being like 16, though. They'll have Roman back in the go home shoot, definitely. Definitely, yeah. If he is taking off time. Yeah. Uh, I, th I thought the promo came off really well. Uh, it's strange that I'm actually liking this, uh, the work shoot angle. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it does feel like Roman's best work on the mic. Uh, he actually does feel pissed off. Mm -hmm. Which, part of him probably is at Brock for some reasons. His laziness in the ring, him, his, like, 30 second house show matches for the Universal Championship. Uh, thing, things like that. So he probably is angry and he's using that to, to drive. His promos, mm. uh, but whatever's working it is working for Roman. So, thumbs up. Yeah, uh, I thought I think they are going to use overuse the shoot, quote unquote, ang aspect of this. But I thought the execution, uh, Angle's reaction, and the uh, girl position worked out well. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, in Detroit, though, the plan for babyface for Roman being the heart home or working guy didn't work out. The Roman didn't get booed yeah. in Detroit, but Detroit was a work for Roman, so. Uh, well, then again, I don't, I don't think Roman's ever going to be for, thoroughly cheered on this uh, face run. No, I'm going to say, listen, I think about they're going to be scripting Bro Roman to say that Brock is Mrs. Boy. is all different kinds of levels of trolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and most of the fans are actually cheering Roman when he says things about Brock. Yeah. So part of it is actually working. So their troll's working. Mm-hmm. Uh, up next, Sasha Banks was just sending the bill. Pat didn't see it because he had a Hulu version. Yes. Uh, Mandy get the 
had distraction, Billy takes her out, and Sasha scores the win with the bank suit. Uh, I like that Billy was out there playing back, came back to Sasha for the last week, her saving her race. Uh, and then once I was done, she said, fuck it, and, uh, Bill won Sasha and the league. Uh, the match itself was largely okay, but, but far from sudden. Uh, she pulled the mean gene. Fuck it! Um. <laughs> yeah, after the match, Bill doesn't give a fuck, and Bill's post match. Absolution kicks the shit out of Banks. I wish Bailey would say that. Talk live on Raw, too. Bales don't give a fuck. <laughs> you've, been get, you've been cracking on the time, so Bailey doesn't give a fuck. But she does it. Uh, she doesn't give a hug. That's more like it, though. <laughs> That's how we're going to get. Uh, I don't give a hug. <laughs> That's how you don't put Bailey on the mic. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> I could easily see that coming out of her. Uh... Up um, next, Kid Rock is going into the WWE Hall of Fame. Yay! <laughs> uh, <laughs> moving on, Miz TV with Seth and Finn. Uh, Miz was actually on by himself. He brings up Rollins and Balor. Miz tries to start shit with Seth and Finn, noting that they're going to use workhorses and could burn it down at Mania himself. Seth says they are stupid and that Miz has to deal with the fact that he's a triple threat. Miz makes bingo hole references at Finn. And reminds us he beat Seth to become the Universal Champion. Uh, Finn isn't buying the bullshit either. Miz says he is the main guy here to crowd disagrees. Miz continues to try to start a pop, but Seth says they're already fired up for the match. Seth says he will win the IC title and that Finn does the same chance Finn disagrees. Finn then says they don't have to wait and wants a match tonight. Miz is happy with himself, but Finn and Seth realize what he's done and attack dump him to the floor. Seth lays out Finn and Beals. Uh, start off with. It seems to be their, the WWF insult to independent wrestling, Bingo Hall. When there's other places that happens, high school gyms, VFWs, Bingo Halls, Bingo Halls, uh, parks, public parks, I've seen that happen before, Walmarts, you know, there, there's other places you can do besides our Bingo Hall. Y yeah, yeah, it was trashy. Sorry, ECW fans, but it's the truth. Uh, it's classy now. Yeah, it's... Uh, classy for that place. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's classy yeah. for the neighborhood. Yeah, it's <laughs> not that bad. For some reason, deserve railroad tracks. Not that <laughs> bad. Uh, I think it's telling us that much more every day is. But there is legit, it's legit on the street with dessert railroad tracks. Yeah, tro trolley tracks. Trolley tracks, yes. And a dessert train. Yeah. Other than that, it's now, not that bad. Down the street from, from, from some factories, uh... There are right, we're running out help if you're new to South Philly. Yeah. Um, it's down the street from a Target. <laughs> it's way down the street from a Target. By factories. You w <laughs> you wish it would just by the Target. By factories and abandoned buildings. It, yeah, and it's by like the cab, and dispatch. And, and a creepy 3D min a creepy glow in the dark mini golf in the side of the warehouse. Yeah. All of that, nice here. Move on. Yeah. Nice. Although it is down the street from a nice bowling alley. So. You gotta take me there, WrestleMania weekend. I do have to take you there eventually. WrestleMania weekend. WrestleMania weekend. All right. Wanna come? It'll be one of our things. We'll yes. be somewhere. Mark called Bowl Philadelphia. South Bowl. That sounds good. <laughs> Sometime during WrestleMania weekend. You so come. Come say hi. We'll be in New Orleans, but you can come. E even if you're in London and if you and, and you're traveling in the states for WrestleMania, just stop over to Philadelphia. And say hi. And say hi at South. We'll Bowl. be in New Orleans, but. We will not be in New York. We'll be in New York next year. Yes. Oh, anyway. <laughs> getting back to the pro, the promo Well, get to your point. You were, and that bingo hole cruised me off. And we're good there. Like, no, I'm just saying that they just seem to love using the insult bingo hall for independent wrestling. It even... Bruce Pritchard even does it on his podcast. Well, when they talk about ECW, he just, show, he just shows B-19. Because it is what it is. Yeah. It's a bigger hole. Yeah. We just true. gotta accept it. Yeah. It looks better than you see. Well, anyway, I, I actually like the promo. Uh, I thought it teased the tension between Finn and Seth uh, and reminded people what what history was between them and the Universal title. Uh, and Miz just coming off as a straight jackass. I, it, I, it hit its mark, I think. Yeah, it was a good fun segment. And Miz was the manipulative bastard. Yes. Uh, up next, Tiny Champions, the Marvelous Dallas Axel match is supposed to start. All the Titans came out and tapped Cesar and Sheamus as they run away. Uh, 
yeah, just set up what happens later in the night. Um, it's it's nice to see that they have plans for the bar, though, for Mania. Yeah, I, well, the same first time at Monday, I was hoping non non multi man tag team match at Mania. Then I was thinking of setting up a tag team invitational with possibly a new team debut one. But obviously, non those aren't true, so. Yeah. Uh, nothing really to talk about there, so. We'll talk more about we'll, we'll talk more about it later. Uh, sad free agent John Cena talks. Uh, for a guy I've never you know, Cena looked rather happy. Uh, he claimed he found his road by missing field multiple times on both rings. He makes no excuses, just wants to contribute to Mania, the crowd chance for Taker. As uh, Cena says that he's not contributing to Mania this year. Are you too good for the Andre Giant or more about Royal Cena? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay. Short story, yes. He isn't quite ever walking away. He'll be nearby as a fan. Braun and Big Show was too good for the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal last year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, he's gonna, he's gonna be fired up just like us, and then shares a beer with a fan. He tries to start this is also awesome chant, and then Joe Clinton tries to let's go Roman chant. They didn't bite on that one. Uh, he then leaves a let's go Cena Cena suck chant since they can't do it at him. They can't do it to him at me. He says he's gonna do something he's not supposed to do, but what's the worst that can happen? He challenges Andre again, and that gets a big pop. He was told the match is impossible, but doesn't understand why. If they didn't like it, he'll be suspended like Reigns. He repeatedly makes the challenge. He jokes that the mic is still on and he's still here. He then claims that the Undertaker is the one that doesn't want it. He tells Taker to get over his own ego because when he feels he still goes to work. When, he, we, when Taker feels, he hides his shame and embarrassment. Uh, you're not too old, you're not too broken down, not too fragile. Highly debatable. No. If you are, if you, why are you willing to post some work out this on your website? Cena says that the fans want to see Taker pick his ass in two center mania, they do. Cena wants to take a good on the try. Cena will go as a fan or will face Taker make history. Uh, the Bulls need to court that man. If I were you, I will want one more match. Uh, it's probably Cena's best promo since the road to WrestleMania last year. Mm. Uh, it, it felt more like it was getting to the point. Uh, especially this year, Cena's promos haven't necessarily had a point. Always. Yeah. Uh, it was just he would go out there, talk about what would be happening, and that, and that would be roughly about it. Yeah. Uh, he he'd been doing that for the last couple weeks, in fact. Uh, but I felt like this was actually a really good promo from Cena, uh, and I felt like there were like there was a strong point to it. He's he's goading Taker into having the match with Mr. Awesome Yeah. Uh, it was a. Great pro segment. Um, I love a scene gets all wild and fired up. Uh, in many ways, I do think the match might be way too late in terms of as a skeptic, as an IWC member. Now that I'm not, but since I'm taking myself out of that role for a moment, uh, yeah, a lot, a lot can potentially go wrong. I don't think it is though. Uh, but uh, overall, another great. Uh, but this is a great fired up scene and passion promo from Cena yeah. here. Yeah, if you. <laughs> If you're a fan of our, since our earlier videos, I think we've said it multiple times that we would prefer to see Undertaker be, reti be retired after right. his Reigns match. It didn't mean that if Taker popped up again, we weren't going to get excited about well, it. Well, some of us are happy for I'm just saying my lies. So I'm not so for us all. It's Undertaker. It's WrestleMania. It's, it's more than likely one of the last... Five times we're going to get Undertaker at WrestleMania. No, I don't think he's done that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. I've actually seen a, like, a rumor on Twitter someone put out that yeah. this is this is highly likely it's Undertaker's last WrestleMania. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> he's dying to ring along with his backstage. Yeah. Uh, uh, backstage, Shames just starts playing Angle about the beatdown. Angle says... They got what they asked for, like, well, the tag team shapes is over, so they heard rumors of a superstar shake up after media, and one trade to smack down now. Angle refuses them and says they're going to be a world tag team by a world time to determine their opponents at media. We got highlights of Braun killing poor Elias last week. Elias is going to perform on a neck brace, he then stops and says it's all your fault and leaves. That didn't happen on who? On the Hulu version, so I didn't see that. Uh, Braun cuts a promo, gets the words on the screen promo. He's pissed about not having a media match for promises to cover his own path. Uh, I'm next from Bell versus Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth Fall filmed to the top. Finn for him for Seth Rollins back up. Superplex. But Finn rolled him before Seth could do the deal with the Falcon Rollins. Picks up the lift with 220. 
Uh, in short, it was probably the best match on Raw. Uh, at least from a, from what I saw. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I expect more from them too, but I get why they're holding back. Especially on the road to WrestleMania and on, on a Raw. Yeah, uh, it was tied for my match on Raw. Uh, it was a, it was a good back and forth match with the finish being good because Finn has Seth and Scout. They announced the Fabulous Smola Memorial Battle Royal for WrestleMania. The now named WrestleMania, WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal. Uh. We did a big video pack. That, that could be a whole 30 minute video on it. I have a show. lot to complain about. <laughs> he has a lot to unbag there. The, I had a lot this whole week with elite, the elitist wrestle fans. I think they're better than everybody else. The, that one condemn people all week. However, it could actually be the same exact fans that during the Women's Royal Rumble this year, when Nikki came out, when Naomi came out. When Lana. when Lana, when Brie Bella came the out, only one I want, chant for their husbands. The only one I didn't get was Beth. Yeah, would chant for their husbands. Right, so, so. yeah, so I, I have a lot for fans that all of a think they're better than wrestlers. They are crucifying Jeff Hardy, Fabulous Mula, Coach this week. That's a 30 minute video coming on Monday night. Uh, Pal just sit here while I rant. Uh. <laughs> it, it, it is funny coming from them. Um, but it, if the, I think if the wrestle, re- if people have complaints, <laughs> Elias wrestle if fans the complaints have merits about have a merit about it, then yeah, you probably shouldn't have named it after. The complaint with the most merit out of the three people I just mentioned is the Mula Battle Royal. I will admit that. The out of the three, people are blaming Co- WB for actually leaving Coach on TV because he asked the woman what type of music do you. Never mind. Uh. The Jeff situation, you know what? That may be a separate video on Monday night. Pat just sits here while I rank for 30 minutes on those yes. three topics. Because we're filming this like around mid- at midnight. So. Yeah. Let me, Odds are we're going to be filming stuff on Monday <laughs> this week. Yeah, but that stuff, that may be filmed on Monday while Pat just sits here. Yeah. Uh, sorry. No, I'm not saying it's you people. I'm just saying it's the fans that think they're better than everybody. They're the kind of get on my nerves. They're the kind of fans I don't like being related to. So. Yeah. Uh, we get some kind of big video package from next night. I got Oscar time. She'll be on SmackDown on Tuesday. Uh, oh, the next night. Since she's takes Charmaine. Charlie's going to earn the air. Charles. Charlie. He's going to earn the air. Oscar not Charles. Or Charlotte. We see flips from Fastlane where Oscar challenged Charlotte. Os- oh, uh, uh, Oscar Bliss. Alexa Bliss interrupts at with Mickey James. Bliss makes fun of Oscar and her poor English. Uh, Bliss says Oscar is fierce and smart. Bliss. And Mickey mocked the shriek and says that she was trying not to face Alexa and Oscar and beat Alexa and Roll Roy. Alexa says she redefined her role champion by not defending the championship and Oscar knows she will lose. I mean. Uh, Alexa says Oscar is smart for back home fight that she can't win. Oscar says she tricked Charlotte because to beat a woman, you got to beat the woman. Point across. She wants to face the best champion in WWE. She's not fighting the Miz, but whatever. Alexa <laughs> says there must be a language barrier. That Oscar chose the weaker champion. AJ Styles. I was going to my best book. A best book, alright. Uh, yeah, best overall in the years. I was delayed. Uh, Oscar says, or actually, no, I'll go, but she's not fighting the Usos. <laughs> in terms of best book. I'll go, uh, 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 uh yeah, yeah, she's yeah. not fighting the Usos. Uh, Oscar says she'd be Alexa and we'll be her again right now. Alexa says that Oscar will face this woman, but no one appears. Mickey attacks and takes Oscar down, and she and Alexa laugh at her. I'll just cover the match too. Uh, just tell everyone. Yeah. Uh, Oscar versus Mickey. Uh, Oscar counts a Mick kick and great stuff. Oscar and Mick. Mix Oscar lock. Oscar lock. And Mickey has to tap. Uh, yeah. From what I got from Joe, I again I got the Hulu version. Yeah. That this match was actually cut pretty short on Hulu. Yeah. Uh, but I hear that it's better. Full. From, in full. Uh. So I won't comment on the match as much. It, it was good for the f- three, five minutes I, it was I saw. Three, it, it was three minutes on Hulu, 6.35 or Yeah. So uh, it, it was fine for what I saw. But, uh, and the promo, kind of low-hanging fruit material for uh, Alexa to use against Asuka. Yeah. Uh, kind of too low where you shouldn't actually use it. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
that and more or less pointing out what the fan, what some fans may actually have difficulty with in Oscar speaking English or promos. Right. No, I understand her clearly. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand her, her more in Nakamura if I had to pin him too. Yeah, Nakamura. It may take me a little second. Right. Uh, however, I think both are actually progressing well in English. Uh, but still, it's sort of low-hanging fruit. Uh, for some reason, Raw doesn't seem to be as clever with Alexa Bliss as SmackDown was last year. No. Because right now, she's Regina George. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was going to be my next <laughs> that, point. That's exactly. her role in Raw. That's what she is. Role. Yeah. For when the guy kissed Billy's dad... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> when I opened my uh, eyes, it was Bailey's dad. From the moment she stepped full roll, she's been Regina George. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when when Alexa Bliss was slightly different. Yeah. She wasn't at she wasn't as bullying. Right. Yeah. We've all been there by the high school girls. Yeah. They used to bully us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They used to throw me in the locker. Did give it? me a wedgie. I know you from most of high school. It was only four months we didn't talk in all of high school. Yeah. Really? You did that too? Yep. I would I have saved you. Even though our lockers were down the hall from each other. Yes. <laughs> not even like, I wouldn't even, I'm Good not even sure you. the term would be down Don't the hall. Don't take offense, you were able to fit in that locker? Because I know I cut it. <laughs> my well, books, they didn't know that. It was, it was a joke. My books never fit in my locker. Yeah, our lockers were really small. Our books didn't really fit in our locker. Long story short, I have, in junior, I have books that fell into the person next door to me in the locker. Yeah. Because our lockers had a hole in it. <laughs> That's what it was about. Uh, uh, anyway, getting away from high school lockers. No, uh, I feel like you bully my girls. <laughs> well, that one wasn't that shit. Uh, <laughs> nah, no one really bullied me in high school, weirdly enough, but... That's Besides just, me. <laughs> Uh, besides, the point. Uh, besides the point, uh, again, sort of low-hanging material. Uh, I will give credit to Alexa Bliss where it comes off, where her scripted promo comes off a lot more natural than than almost anybody in WWE. Yeah, she was a cool Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, so she made me lick white dog crap. If you get that reference, I feel so different. Uh, yes. I the ma- I'll cover the match. And it was a good match. And I went the crave poop spot to uh, Oscar's uh, knee to allow Mickey to take control believably. And however, pointed out the match was good. It's unfortunate the crowd show up. Yeah. Uh, Nia's backstage. Alexa confirmed her about not coming out to help. Nia says Kurt told her not to come out. Alexa says she did all this to help Nia and she loves her to hug. Alexa will apparently face Oscar next week on Monday. and wants Nia to be in her corner. Up next, Nia Jax versus Jim King. Uh, sounds, like, sounds like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it literally sounds like Joe King. <laughs> yeah, uh, Nia has uh, all the drops, all the drop in place. Um, it was a squash match. <laughs> right. Uh, I did like the uh, subtle people's elbow she did. Yes. I, I That was the one interesting talking point, I think, for this match. Yeah. But um, yeah, other than that, it was just it was a squash match. Yeah, squash. Um, next up on Mean Girls, the camera touches Mickey and Alexa Barry and Nia backstage, and pops up on the screen and Nia sees it, because all WWE heels are stupid. Uh, they don't see, they, they see the boom mic, but they don't see the camera film. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, or, you know, the camera guy operating the camera. Right. Uh, Alex, Alexa misused Nia to get a hit on Mean Girls, and so Nia is happy to carry her bags. Alexis are pretty little liars. Alexis says she has Nia in the palm of her hand. She's just as dumb as she is big. Quote. Uh, Alexis says they will use Nia next week and Nia doesn't play long, they will be her down. Charles then arrives. Uh, Charlie <laughs> then arrives. Charlie looking good too. And Forbes said that as since the series was scheduled, that the mics and camera were on and that everyone heard everything. Nia is sad. And it gets pissed and runs to the back. And it was murder time. Uh, Mickey and Alexa run away before Nia can kill them. Uh, Nia first backstage, tossing bags around and screaming. And that was the follow up from last week's end station Nia versus Alexa and WrestleMania. It, it, was a, it was a frame up by WWE to get that out. Yes. That, that's probably going to be the reasoning. Um, I am weirdly enjoying the, this feud, though. Uh, literally, it should end with Nia absolutely <laughs> tearing Alexa limb from limb. Uh, 
and maybe not like the best match quality at Mania, but that it really shouldn't be that. So uh, I, I am enjoying the ride to WrestleMania with this feud. Yeah, uh, and we next we get a video package on the upcoming Ultimate Deletion, which is this upcoming Monday, and Matt and the whole army will be there, including Singer Benjamin. Man, Guard 1, Queen Rabbi, King Maxwell, and Lord Wolfgang against Guard Uh, Brandon cuts a promo, calling Matt a liar and a fool. He claims Matt made a poor decision, and clearly some set invitation for Ultimate Delusion. Uh, but was one who Luke Krangle was completely confused by all that. Uh, he said he expects that kind of stuff from Bray, but what happened to Matt? Uh, then he <laughs> met with a ref, and he had signed him to officiate the match, and the ref asked, what did he do wrong? Uh... And then, and at the main event, number one contenders tag team battle royal. Uh, came down to Carl Anderson and Braun. Uh, he had a super tank with Braun come over and hurled him over on top to the pile of ice. And Braun's your number one contender. Yeah. Um, yeah, having one guy kill about ten men, or your tag division, essentially, uh, probably not the smartest idea. Um, uh, yeah, I, 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 I get the point of adding Braun to, to a match at Mania because it didn't really look like he had a plan. Uh, so I get adding that. I'm not sure if I would have gone this way, or at least, and ended the show this way, too. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure if I would have went that way. I probably would have had Braun just come out and more, more than the tag team himself. Yeah. Uh, I definitely wanted to show with this. I now will end it with a Roman and a Vincible. Yeah. That's how Brian ended the show. Uh, the match, the uh, pack handled the very part. Uh, it was a probably solid battle royal with uh, Braun killing people and doing Braun things to get to me. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pat says bring in Elias. I said bring up Mars. Give him some ice so you don't kill the tag division dead, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I, I think Braun and Elias would be like a very interesting oddball tag team. Yeah, uh, and I even got a name for them too. I, I well, it's not my original. I, I stole it from somebody. Off of, I stole it from somebody off of Amazon, but I do like Amazon. the name Amazon Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the name Symphony of Destruction for the two, for the pairing. We just gave Amazon for the whole thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. I do use frequently. I do use frequently use Amazon. Yeah, uh, for all there was a lot of wrestling in the show, but we did get two good matches, some solid build me, and some stuff set up for this Monday. Yes. So it was a perfectly solid show for all. Uh, and then next year, yes, say, say that line, maybe able to squeeze some five lines into that at the end. Yes. Let's see. See you then.